initiative in Bowling Green for years and all that work is finally wrapping up. John Monk has more on the future of the Bowling Green Dog Park. For the last two years, the local group Citizens for BG Dog Parks has been working with the city to establish a centralized dog park in the city limits. It's an amenity many dog lovers in town couldn't believe wasn't already here. A dog park is a good place for a community to come together, mm -hmm. to peop for people to meet other people who enjoy dogs and uh, to get to know each other. It's a really neighborhood friendly feeling. At Tuesday night's meeting, BG Council approved a $1 a year, three year lease of the north portion of Ridge Park, about a block away from the historic courthouse for use as a dog park. Organizers say this form Former school ground has not been properly used over the years and has everything they need to transform it into a park for small and large dogs and their owners. We had a feasibility study done by some BGSU students and this seemed to fit all of the boxes that we accepted. Along with offering a location where people can walk their dogs to the park, City Council was happy to bring life back to an underutilized city asset and offer a park that many other communities already have. I think it's really going to improve the lives of people who live here and hopefully help us attract new residents and uh, particularly to this area of town. With the park being maintained by the nonprofit, the group BG Parks is looking for more volunteers and are asking anyone interested to attend their next meeting this Saturday, May 11th, at the BG First Presbyterian Church at 11 a.m. Also, one of the first fundraisers for the new dog park is going to be here at Arlen's Good Beer on the south side of BG next Saturday, May 18th, with a pop-up dog park installed. Reporting from Bowling Green, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11.